Hello and welcome to Geek History Lesson. I'm Jason Strange Inman. I'm Ashley Victoria Robinson. Welcome to our Mind University because you have stumbled onto the podcast where we take one character, construct, or team from popular culture and teach you everything you need to know about it in about an hour. However, however, this episode is going to be different. Now, if you remember from the very first year of Geek History Lesson, if you ever listened to that, cast your mind all the way. Uh, we did a dramatic reading of a comic book, and we had a lot of people like it. A lot of people thought a lot of fun with it and it was requested every single year but the honest truth of that is that that episode was very difficult to produce Mm -hmm. but we found that a lot of people responded to our Doctor Strange episode that we did last year. And ever since then, uh, Clea, Mm -hmm. uh, his lady friend, and Doctor Strange have popped up various points and, you know, things. And we wanted to do a special episode for the holiday season. And we thought, what better than to do a Doctor Strange superhero call-in show. Mm-hmm. And so we, uh, we've we uh, invited some people to help us, right, some Ashley? special guest some stars. Some special guest stars. And uh, we have sort of put on this, I wouldn't, we wouldn't call it an audio drama, would you? Yeah, I would call it an audio drama. Yeah, I would. That's what I would, I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah. Uh, but an audio sketch, yeah. you would say you would, of uh, Dr. Strange's call-in show. And, uh, you know, as you uh, are hanging out with your family, Hoping for a new episode of Geek History Lesson. Well, here we are, and this you guys could consider this to be the worst episode of Geek History Lesson of all time. You Some might consider this to be the best, but we had a lot of fun doing it. Didn't we have fun doing it, Ashley? We had a lot of fun, yeah. See, yeah, yeah. Ashley had a, a medium amount of fun. You can tell by the way she said that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley already thinks this is the worst episode of Geek History Lesson. <laughs> I know which episode is the worst episode of Geek History Lesson, because um, it was one of mine, oh. and we literally could not do worse than that. Um uh, <laughs> um, well, we'll see. We might be able to beat this one, that one. Uh, anyways, uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, we hope you enjoy our little audio play. And if you guys like it, uh, this could become a yearly thing. We'll find out. So, uh, without much ado, uh, have a happy holiday season. I uh, hope you picked up Jupiter Jet. And uh, let's begin our uh, little episode here. Our program. Our program. Hello and welcome to the Doctor Strange Show, the only show in the entire universe where you can talk to the Sorcerer Supreme about your problems, and I will use my third eye to find the solutions for you. Like every day, I am joined with the Spendiferous, the Wonderunderous, the Amazing Timberiferous, that's a real word. Clea. Yes, and I want to say, Stevie, I think that your third <sighs> eye is especially sexy today. It's a Steven. Yeah, Steve O. So, oh, good lord. Look, Stevie Pie, I know, and we like to check in on you every day that you have a problem. Yes, that it is correct, my Clea darling. I have a condition where sometimes while channeling the answers Mm -hmm. for our callers out there, I sometimes bring in too much of the dark magic. I love it, personally. Well, you are from the dark dimension. That's so true. Clear. And, uh, you know, what is your commute like? It's instantaneous. Really? Yeah, I mean... How many souls do you have to sacrifice to make that journey? I'm... I'm not one of your patients here today, Steve. I'm one of I'm your engineer, so oh, well, I'll tell you, but I'll only tell you off the air. We're touching a bob right there. A I can tell. A little bit, a mm. little bit. Clea doesn't want to share with our lovely audience who I consider to be like family. Um, Do you? You don't have any family, Stevie. Last I checked, they're all dead. Right. They're all dead. Clea. Yeah, that's too bad. They're all dead. If you remember back to uh, episode. Um, Six hundred and eighty-three thousand. Done so many of these. Uh, well, that's the the great thing about uh, transmitting to the great beyond. Mm-hmm. Um, your your episode numbers are an infinitum. Uh, do you love my wordplay today? I think your use of the Latin is super super <laughs> great. <laughs> I did study in Tibet, so uh, <laughs> where they speak Latin, they speak. 
so much Latin there. You have no idea. You're so worldly, Stevie. And make you eat so much rice. Mm. If I ever... Gotta watch your carbs. Sometimes when I'm in a grocery store Mm -hmm. and I'm walking down certain aisles, Mm -hmm. I sometimes punch every box of rice around it. You have no idea. 17 years of rice, Claire. Oh, I thought maybe you were like looking for the prizes in them like they have in the Cracker Jack box. There are no prizes in a rice box. There are in the dark dimension. Wow, that's just... Um, it's a pretty great dimension. It seems... You know, with every episode we do, you convince me uh, a little bit more. I mean, the, the fact that there are, are there prizes in every box. Every box of every food. But I want to say, listeners, does it sound like I might get our Dr. Steve-O to move in with me finally? Well, don't count on that. Oh. Uh, you know my uh, perspective on that, then I need a man cave that is at least the size of Ohio. And until you can provide that, I uh, will not ever move to the Dr. Mansion. Babe, we could float above Ohio. Is there a dark Ohio? I'm I'm quite confused. Ohio is in the dark dimension. I thought it was obvious. Really? Yeah. Ohio is in the dark Most dimension. Most of the Midwest. Well, I definitely will tell you that after this episode, I must consult the runes because Ohio disappearing from North America uh, means that I have not been doing my job and I could be in trouble with the American Association of Sorcerer Supremes uh, across the multiverse, of course. Uh, ooh, yeesh, maybe I shouldn't have broadcast that. Sorry either. to bring that up, babe. And Ohio is in the dark dimension. But I love Cleveland. I love Cleveland. But does Cleveland love you? Well, not anymore if it's Could in the dark Cleveland dimension. Cleveland ever give you what I give you? Well, I mean, you still won't give me a man cave the size of Ohio. And that's going to be, I mean, where am I going to put the entirety of Jane Austen's multiversal works? There are so many. That is such a good point, Steve. Yes. All right. Well, I think we've spent enough time with us. Oh, and there's never enough time, Stevie Boo. No, it's Steven. Thank you. Uh, I think we've spent enough time here talking about us. I think it's time to go to the listeners. Okay. We need to expand our minds and help the people, the super people of the universe. Uh, Claire, do we have uh, someone who's ready for the Sorcerer Supreme we, to solve their problems? We do, Steve Arino. On line uh, Steven, three, on line three, we have a caller and he's got girlfriend problems. And hello, this is Dr. Niall Strange. Who do I have on the line? Oh, hi, this is Barry Allen, fastest man alive, calling in from uh, Central City. How you doing? Central City? I, I've never been there before, Central City. Oh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a nice little slice of Americana, you know what I mean? It's, I, I have to ask you, are you even on my Earth? Mm, are you on a different Earth? Are you calling from a different Earth? I can come to your Earth if you want. I pop over to Earth all the time. It's really? Pretty, yeah. That's fascinating. Yeah, no, it's I, I, I don't really know how it works exactly. It kind of just happens sometimes, but it's... It's fun, yeah. You don't know how it works, but no. you hop to different Earths. Well, yeah, I mean, it just kind of it happens. It slips in. Like, uh, one time I actually okay. ran back in time. It was a, oh, wait, it was a oh, weird day. Is that... You ran back in time. Yeah, but don't worry. It deleted my. I, I, somehow my past self got deleted too, so it wasn't. It wasn't a big deal. Ooh, I don't even understand. Um, I'm very confused here. Um, let's go. Let, what, 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 what did you call us today, Barry? Uh, what could I help you with? Well, it's a little complicated. Okay. So I, I'm in love with this girl, Ooh, and I aren't just, we all? I know. <laughs> That's uh, life. <laughs> it's it's been tough because I, I I I've been trying to prove to her that you know I'm I, I can you know make her happy and we. We'd, we'd have a good time mm-hmm, together, mm-hmm. but it's just it, it's just been tough. So I was wondering if you had any uh, suggestions. Well, I find that uh, with the ladies, you want to be uh, well dressed, mm-hmm. possibly have some nice bling. Mm-hmm. Uh, a cape mm-hmm. is always a fancy option. Uh, if you you know you, you want to peacock it, as they say, you want to peacock it, Barry. Uh, you want to be noticeable to them, and uh, you know. Um, Try some nice magic tricks. Even if you do the little thumb one that everyone does. Yeah, the thumb one, yeah. Yes, the thumb one that everyone does, Mm -hmm. uh, where it looks like your thumb is moving. That's great. Um, It impresses the ladies. It shows them that you care. Now, have you tried any of those things? No, actually, I mean, I I have a okay button up, but I can go get a suit. I can get some bling. I think I can definitely learn some tricks. Uh, Hold on, let me go back in time. I tried a date already with her. It didn't go well. I'll go ahead and... Let me go ahead and try that again really quick. Barry? Yeah. 
Are you back? Yes. Uh, it, did you just did mm. you just, did you just go back in time? Yeah. Why? Wait. Dude, is that what you not you were you not suggesting that? Because we've already been on a date. I just thought I could try again. Well, no. I, Barry, I, I'm a little confused because my pen was on the left side, mm-hmm. and then you come back, and my pen is on the right side. Mm. Now I'm the sorcerer supreme. I notice things like this. The pen is never on the. What the hell did you do? I did what you said. I went. I went back in time to the first. I did date. not tell you to go back in time. Well, you gave. Uh, I mean, it's always about a first impression. Of course, you got to have a good first impression. So all right. I, well, let's. Uh, okay. So you're now saying that we are in a completely new timeline because of you. Is that what you're telling me? I never thought about it that way. I thought it was kind of more contained than that. Uh, I guess so. You oh, moved yeah. my pin, sir. I didn't. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know that was gonna happen. Look, I have to tell you, uh, Barry. I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed in you. And I also have to say that as the Sorcerer Supreme, it is paramount that I know about my world, that I understand it to the minute detail. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I need to know uh, who's the best picture winner now. I, 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 I could, it could be anyone. It could be... It, it could, Geely could have won, for all I know. Well, Geely did win. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. Oh, man, this may have been a little Gini, bit worse than I thought. Genie, one best picture. Well, here, I'll go back in time and I'll just change my... I'll stop no, myself from doing that no, the first ba- time. Barry, no. Okay, here Barry, we go. No. Is this better? Did the pen go back? Is did Geely still the did winner? Did you just travel back in time again? I Just really quick, just a quick one. Oh, my God, Barry. This time, I, I, I have no mustache. I have no mustache on my face. Um, I don't know if you know that in the seven trillion years that there have been Sorcerer Supremes, not a single one of them have never had a mustache. You have broken the line, Barry. I And you've crossed the line. Well, it, well, I mean, we're both in the pits now because I, I'm also, the date hasn't gone well yet and you lost your mustache. So now we're, we both have incentive to, you know, figure this out. Tell me this, Barry. I need to know this. Mm-hmm. I need to be aware of my situation. Uh, who won the World Series? Uh, I believe the Red Sox haven't lost since ah, the son 60s. of a bitch! I'm so sorry. I'm so the sorry. The Red Sox? Yes. They don't even exist on my earth. Oh. Who the hell are the Red Sox? You know, the... Uh, oh, my God. All right. Okay. All right, all right well, let's, this is a good lesson it, for me. Yeah, I, I hope you're learning something here. Um, at least tell me this. Mm-hmm. How's the date going? I mean, I need to know this. I well, it, I've been listening to you. I, I did try some. Uh, I mean, I gotta. I guess I could try a second date where. Have you peed the cock? Have you cocked the pee? Have, I, I, have you I, done either one of those? I well, I wore my suit. Was I not supposed to wear my suit? You I wore, wore, no, you're supposed to wear this. Okay, I wore yes. the suit and mm-hmm. it seemed to be doing well. Yes. But I could always add a cape. Should I try adding a cape? Wait, let me go try adding a cape. Oh really my quick. god, no. <laughs> okay, so I added the cape. The cape <laughs> Barry <definitely laughs> slowed me down. <laughs> Did you just travel through time again? I just, but it was barely back in time. Oh. It was ba- it was barely back in time. I went back in time to the 1800s. Got an the authentic a- cape. The 1800s. Came to the date. Yes, came to the date. Well, that I- is the correct uh, century for capes. Thank I will you so tell you much. that. Yes. Yeah. See, I wasn't. A, it wasn't a wor- the worst decision in the um, world. There is a side problem though, Barry. Hmm. Uh, I just looked down. Is it the pen? No, it's not the pen. Uh, it is about a pen that might be missing now. Hmm. I am now a woman. Oh. Uh, that has happened uh, somehow in the minute seconds of this recording. I have now become a woman, uh, and damn you to hell, Barry. Uh. That is what I say to you. Uh, look, I hope if you've learned any lesson that you will never time travel again, ever. And I would suggest maybe leaving this woman alone, going to date someone else. Uh, perhaps there is a nice lady nearby you who can create ice out of her fingers. Hmm. Uh, perhaps there is a nice lady who wears white and uses a bow staff around you. Uh. There are so many ladies, I think, that are better choices than you than, uh, you know, the muggle that you have a crush on, I would say. I mean, you bring up good points, but it's just so hard to meet new people that aren't your, like, you know, adoptive sister. You know, it's just so much easier. Is that a requirement for you, or the adoptive sister? Well, I just, I know her so well. I've known her for years. That's, uh, that's slightly creepy, Barry. It's a little, you should, you should. There's no blood in there, though. It's sh- okay. You, it's, well, I mean, there are spells to, get, to take care of that. But, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, that, Barry, you need to expand your horizon outside of your childhood home, I believe. Mm-hmm. There are plenty of women, my friend. Have you ever thought about uh, maybe an alien from another planet? Mm, well, it's 
not the worst idea. You know what? Actually, I, you know what? I, I feel like I can fix this for. I, I feel like I've made your life a little bit harder. Let me go back in time one more time. Just one more oh, time, and I'm going to go ahead and fix this uh, as oh, quick as I can. Oh, okay. Really quick. Hold your breath. Three, two, one. Very. Did you? Oh. All right. Well, I, I, I assume he traveled through time, and uh, I hope that everything uh, went well. Oh, hey, Stevie. Your mustache is back. It is? Very sexy. Oh, good. Very good. Uh, I've, I have no longer have bosoms as well. That is a good thing. Um, I was a little concerned there. That was quite, I would say, one of these stranger calls that we have had here. On the Doctor Strange show. And that sure is saying something for you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it is something to say that the call, that the call was strange on the Doctor Strange show. <laughs> You're you so say. funny. Uh, you can suck up to me all you want. It does not mean that I will move to the dark dimension. But we have Ohio. <sighs> is that a selling point? <laughs> is is that a selling Be honest. Is, is that, is, is it? Is Dayton in the Dark Dimension really where we want to be? Fine, I'll get you Asgard. You're going to put Asgard in the Dark Dimension? I can do anything. Apparently. Yeah. How are you? I mean, very powerful. Thor's very powerful as well. He's not on Asgard right now. How do you know that? I know everything. Do you, do you, do you have listening devices on Asgard? I wouldn't say listening devices as much as I would say... Itty bitty little minions, maybe. Are you? Is Claire? Are Steve. you? Uh, uh, Stephen, are you telling me right now that you spy on Odin's son? That you're spying on Thor, the son of God? Is this? Is this part of your tiger beat crush thing again? I mean, I wouldn't say spying as much as I would say just monitoring his bedroom. Just so only when he's there. I'm not sending people after him. Uh, I would like anybody at the Asgardian embassy that is currently listening to the show, please inform the son of Odin that a dark demon princess from the dark dimension has been, let's say, monitoring all of his activities in the nether regions. Steven Ader, I don't know why this Steven. is such an issue for you. I mean, you know Loki and I are close. Um, Not to make this podcast, this program too personal. Before I have a panic attack live on the air, let's let's proceed to our next caller. Let's do oh, this. Oh, our next let's caller is on line 17, Steve oh, Keep it together, Steve. And it is a woman. Oh, and good. she's not happy with her life. Hello and welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Julia Strange, and you are? I am Diana, Princess of Themyscira. Oh, I've heard of you. Uh, this is I'm, an honor. Everyone has, yes. Yes. Uh, well, how can I help you today? Well, doctor, you are a doctor. Are you an MD? Uh, yes, with uh, several degrees. Okay, uh, what, what are those? Uh, uh, botany, uh, psychology, mm-hmm. veterinary medicines, and Ve- stuff okay. like that. Um, demon sciences that are too numerous to explain. Oh, uh, so a lover of, of people and animals. Yes, and uh, creatures that uh, kill you in the night. Oh, perfect. I My issue, actually, is that I am... I am very I'm I'm bored. You're bored. I'm bored with with this life, with with being in the man's world. Do you mm. know the man's world? Yes, I, I I am a man. I uh last time I checked I do have a penis. Uh so I, I, I know what you are speaking of. Yes. Go go on. No, it it's just I save everyone. You know, I, I, I've saved everyone, I've defeated everybody mm. and uh there's nothing left for me to do here. There's, you are, so you are saying that for you, man's world is... Boring. It's just boring. Yes. Well, um, that's a problem. Diana. And you being a man, you would know how boring your world is. I mean, I think my uh, my world is quite exciting. I mean, this morning I, um, I had a bowl of cornflakes. Mm-hmm. I read the newspaper, watched the stock reports. I think that is a... Quite exciting morning. I believe that, Diana, I, I'm going to offer a suggestion here. I believe that you need to broaden your horizons. Maybe look at things that you think are boring as exciting again. Okay, so, like, love and relationships. Yes, so t- and- tell me, is there no man in your life? Right now, uh, to make your life exciting. Right now, no. Actually, there is no man in my life, and and the men that I know, I have defeated them. I have defeated Ares. I have defeated uh, 
the patriarchy. I have, you know, the something on the wing with William Shatner, that yes. monster. I defeated him as well. Him too. Uh, yes. And I, William Shatner. Yes, I have defeated uh, th- mortgage rates. I have defeated mortgage everyone. Rates. Yes, I, I, I have gone after the government. I have defeated. Well, I mean, have you defeated? I have to ask, um, you know, because these are some of my old foes. Um, uh, the horse monster. Oh yes, he's dead. Yes, you, with with a crossbow. Wait, mm-hmm. wait, you killed horse. Yes. He crossbow. He's not completely evil, Diana. Crossbow. Yes. Oh my god, I I have to call his wife now. Um, what about the Cathalalon? Oh, absolutely drowned. You drowned, drowned in my bathtub. The wow. there were candles. In incense, he drowned. I mean, that's a fitting in since the Akalathon is a water demon. Okay. Uh, what about Zarathos? Uh, stepped one, on. You stepped on Zarathos? Yes. Zarathos is a giant. I stepped on him. I am I am impressed by your magnitude of your godliness, Diana. And and then I and then I, I beat his remains with, with one bare fist. Not uh, both, uh, just one. Well, it sounds like you're having an exciting life by killing things. Diana. No, but it's boring because it's. Uh, have you seen the anime One Punch Man? That is essentially me, but One Punch Woman. It just takes one punch, mm-hmm. and and I and I murder yeah. everyone. Yeah, I, I don't understand everyone. this. I'm I'm sorry. If it's not on BBC, I don't care. Um, so, Diana, I have to ask you. Um, you've been around stomping. Killing one punch, uh, one punch, punching things, whatever that is. I don't understand uh, Kabuki. Um, would you ever consider going out to dinner with a doctor who hosts a radio show? I'm asking for a friend. Ah, uh, you have another friend. Is he also yes in, in botany and yes, he has he, ha- he has many degrees in mm. herbology, but he doesn't look like you. Nah. Uh, no, no, not at all. He, oh, okay. uh, uh, he just, you know, he's also white because it, and oh, a beard oh. and a cape. Okay, um, and he'll answer to Thomas. Hmm. He's Doctor Thomas Strange. Yes. No, no. Uh, so he, you're related. Yeah. How big yes. is this Strange family? Uh, it's as big as you need it to be, Diana. As big as I you need it to be it to sound, have dinner. It sounds like you're trying to make a sexual joke. I don't I, understand what that's you're... That's not my intentions at all. Uh, Diana, let's uh, get back to your problem here. I believe we went down the wrong road and... Uh, of you asking me on a date for your friend, but it was you. Uh, that's... If if you if you claim that's what I'm asking, then uh, whatever makes you feel better. You can have uh, a date with this fist. The the one punch, the kabuki yes. thing? No, I don't. I don't understand that. Uh, Diana, um, you're bored. You need more excitement. You need to stop one-punching thing. I'm going to suggest that we're at the beginning of a new year, Diana. I think there should be a new you. Have you ever tried? I'm going to put something out there in the world. Let's see if you want to grab it. I'm going to see if you want to take it. You know, feel around, play around with it. Um, What are you describing? I don't like this. This makes me uncomfortable. Maybe you want to take it to dinner sometime. I'm just going to say, maybe you should be a villain. Have you ever thought about that? A villain? Yes. Uh, You've rescued, uh, I would say, uh, give me an estimation. How many banks have you rescued in your entire career? Oh, easily 140 billion. Have you ever robbed a bank? Hmm. I guess I haven't. See, that's where the excitement of your life could be, Diana. I've definitely stolen things. You stole, wait, you've already stolen things? Mm Mm-hmm. Like, can you, can you say on public radio? Lives. I've stolen lives. I, well, we got that, Diana. Yes, we, you are you are an accomplished murderer of people. I kind of am already a villain, if you think about it. I mean... I have murdered. I mean, that is true. I'm, I am going to have to call Hoss I later and tell his wife that you murdered his her husband. So. Including doctors, so... You, wait a bit. Which, mm, which doctors have you murdered here, Diana? Well, I... Have you murdered... Wait, off record? Um, Could you yes, pause is, for a second? Uh, yes, I have I have created the bubble of Vashanti silence. No one outside of you and me uh, and the uh, seven million people that live in New York will hear your confession. Let's get back to the stealing. I have stolen. Okay. And I've stolen glances before at men. Those are, those are not I'm, real crimes, Diana. Those are just things. I have stolen things- time. I th- From my mother. She- Di- Diana, do you know what the word crime means? I don't think you do. Um, those aren't quite crimes. Those, you know, maybe I love all the crimes. I'm, I'm an equal opportunity lover. I, I of love crimes. crimes. Mm-hmm. I've met many. 
and uh, taken them into my home. I I love crimes. All right. Well, I think I think we have a perfect plan for you in 2018, Diana. Do you feel confident about the new Diana? Yes, I've always been confident in myself. Well, I think you're going to have a spectacular 2018, and I think you can make it even better by having dinner with a certain doctor. I'm just going to say that. Right. Uh, I will give her a call after this. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, the, uh, the other. I will the call other. her. Thank you the for other. your wisdom. Uh, all right. Well, uh, thank you for calling in, Diana. Hey, Steve Afino. Steven. I have, I have a question. Yes, It of really, it, it just really, uh-huh. this might be on me, but it really sounded like at the end of your last call that you were trying to get a date besides me. Well, um, when your radio co-host um, spies on a god. Um, it's just looking. Uh, spies on a god. Uh, one must expand his horizons for other gods. And uh, that's what happens. You better not be on Tinder or Bumble, or I will mm. never get over it. Uh, I would never do, by the omnipotent wings of Pimea, I will never be on Tinder. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I just got a message from our manager, station manager just gave this to me and said, there is a caller on line 17. Oh, look at that blinking light. For you, Claire. Oh, for me? That's so nice. This is, uh, very regular. I hope this caller knows that this is the... A Doctor Strange show and not the Clear show. Maybe as we, we'll spin off. As we see in all the advertisements, uh, you are under contract to never make that show for the next 50,000 years. But it's all right. I will, uh, of course, get a tea break and uh, I will go on my own uh, and buy the ruby rings of Rotoria. I wish you well, Claire. Thanks, Stevie. Steven. All right, so we are taking caller number, I don't know what number you are, but you're on line 28, so why don't you tell me what your problem is? Oh, do you have a cold? Do you need a lozenge? You sound like, a, you, you sound like my wife. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. What's your uh, name? I'm Frank. Oh, Frankie. Yeah, Frank. Frankie, tell me what's going on. It's Frank. Um, oh, oh, I've been, uh, mm, uh-huh. It's okay. This is a safe space. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know it is. Yeah. I've been, um, uh, spent a lot of time in a van. In a mm, van. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, Where do you sleep? That can't be good for your back. The van. Yeah, the van. Oh, yeah. I sleep in a van. Um, do you, uh, you sure you're not my wife? Oh, I'm nobody's wife. That's so sweet of you to think, though. I'm trying to be Stevie's wife, but he left for a bit. Oh. I treat you better than Steve. Uh, I treat you better than Steve. Uh, I treat you better than Steve. Yeah, I would. Uh, Frankie, what would you do? How would you take me out on a first date? Let's play match game. Probably the carousel. Ooh, I love a carousel. <laughs> so, oh, I. The <laughs> carousel. Frank, Frank and Hater, are you okay? I said I like carousels. Oh, she's dead. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. What, uh, who's dead? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, hold on. oh my god! Um, uh, oh, she's dead. Oh. oh, she's dead. Frankie, I can't really help you if you don't tell me a little bit. She's dead. Oh, I gotta go. I, I gotta. I gotta go. Okay, and the line's dead. So that was Frankie, and we're so happy that he called. And hopefully when he gets himself under control a little bit more, we can talk again. Um, Hopefully Stevie comes back soon, too. I am back. Oh, hi, Steve Uh, By the sons of Satine, how did that go? It was awesome. I did a super good job. Did you solve the problem? I I was not listening. Oh, he didn't even tell me the problem, but we had a great talk. I think we had a really if, deeply... If he did not tell you the problem, then how did you solve his problem? 
Well, you see, Stevie, yes. we had a deeply personal connection, uh-huh. and we talked about maybe going on a date, and he told me where we would go, <laughs> Again, and I was with super this date into thing. it. All right, then. Um, okay, well, I'm certain that uh, during that uh, very ineffective call that uh, you probably had another caller in Colin, right? Oh, yes? maybe. Yes, yes. yes. I, I assume we have uh, someone else on another line, um, perhaps a, a, a brute a uh, man uh, from the wilderness. Can we have a man? I would love... Do we have a Canadian man that's uh, on the line? We do. He's actually on yes. line number four. Yes. And I think he wants to talk to you maybe about personal grooming. I don't know. He was a little unclear. A little unclear Canadian on line four. I'm very excited about this. Hello, Carla. Welcome to the... Uh, show, I am Dr. Cornelius Strange. Uh, what's your name? What's your problem? Uh, yeah, hey, this is Logan. I'm calling from Manitoba. First time caller. Um, begrudgingly first time listener. Begrudgingly? Who who suggested our podcast to you? Uh, our call-in show, yeah, it's all, which is also a podcast. Well, this is part of the process in my anger management training. Yes, uh, all right. Yeah, Professor... Uh, a, a gentleman named Xavier. That's all I'll leave. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you. Is, is it Charles Xavier? Old colleague of mine from Oxford. No, oh, that... What? Wait, that can't be right, bub. You're like 40 years younger than him. Look, we're getting into the Canadian weeds, as one must say. Let's... <laughs> what is your problem, Mr. Logan? Well, like I was saying earlier here, I got a bit of an anger problem. Every time I go out somewhere, someone starts some stuff, doesn't let me smoke my cigar inside... Don't let me eat my food. Next thing you know, my maple syrup, I like it pure from Canada. Next thing you know, people are picking fights, and I kill the whole restaurant. And I'm just like, stick, stick, stick! Now... And there's no one left, and they're all dead. So you are killing innocent civilians well, in restaurants. I don't know if they're innocent, if they're uh, upset at me. I enough, think so. the law would beg to differ there, Mr. Well, Logan. Um, so let me tell you, what... what is, that, is that the mystic law, or is that the, the regular it's, law? It's uh, all of law. All, uh, all of laws all of say law. that murder right. is bad. All, right. all laws. Right. Uh, Stephen. Yes, uh, Dr. Stephen <laughs> Strange. Um, now, <clears throat> is there something that sets you off? Is there something that someone does... Or is there some memory of restaurants in your life that sets you off on this berserker rage? Well, sometimes people come in and they think they can do what they want around you because they just know they can push your buttons. You know, they've watched me on television or they've seen me, some some Australian fool playing me on screen, and they think they can... I think he's quite good. Well, of course you would, Stephen. But uh, with that accent of yours, listen, they think... My accent? Yeah. All right. We'll get to it. But they think they can come up and push buttons and challenge me and they, they want to get into a fight. You know how guys are. Guys are always like, who's the toughest guy in the room? Let me go and see how I can mess well, with them. So let, they go and mess with me. They talk about my haircut, my wife beater shirt, my cigar. Bob, it ain't cool. Well, let me ask you this. Are you smoking this cigar in a non-smoking restaurant? Are you smoking right now? Did I just hear that? Yes. This is a non-smoking show, Mr. Logan. I'm going to have to ask you to put that out. Well, I'm not putting it out. Don't get me upset. I'm not going to cut this microphone up. <laughs> this, my I'm, a, I'm, I'm quite impressed that you're calling into our show, with, that you care so much about our audio quality that you're calling in on our microphones, good sir. Well, yes. You have taste. I'm on the, uh, what they call that, a... Uh, Are you on the danger room microphone? Yes, yes. <laughs> this is the only place I'm allowed to be right now. This is where Charles puts me when he's upset at me. Are you logging... I'm he, he, running through a scenario right now as we speak, Bob. Now... Are you when you go into these places? Are you are you kind to the, the the waitresses? Well, kind. What do you mean kind? Well, like you say please and thank well, of you. Course, and, of course, I'm very. Um, do you respectful. do you do you uh, when a person walks into the restaurant? Do you do you nod at them or do you growl? I try not to recognize anybody around me. I try not to make any kind of facial looks or twitches or recognition of them. As being in my presence. Well, describe to me the last time this happened to you. What exactly set off your murderous rage? All right, well, I was at a sports bar. This was about a few days ago. I was going to see my Edmonton Oilers. I was going to, you know, I, did, I took a chance to go to a sports bar to mm-hmm. see a hockey game. You know, Americans aren't always the uh, biggest fans of hockey. They have some comments that they like to say at certain moments 
when you're watching the game, especially if they happen to be watching American football. Uh, so I went in there. I wanted to cheer on my Edmonton Oilers. You know, they haven't been doing so well. Uh, and I sat down, and I was holding some spaces for the other X-Men that were coming. They were going to come and join me and sit with me. And this guy walks up, and he says, and he just grabs a chair out from this five chairs I had set up for my people, uh, my team. And I look at him, and he goes, I don't see it say uh, Wolverine or Logan anywhere. I think I can take the chair. And he just sits down in the chair, and his and his girlfriend giggles and laughs and sits on his knee like they're ma- like they're just like they think they can do that to me, and they don't think I'm gonna cut them up into little pieces. Like which I don't you, understand that. Which you did, of course. Yes, of course I did. <laughs> You I mur- mean, I spared his girlfriend, of course, but I murdered the guy because it just was enough. Now, I have to ask, was did you put a sign on that chair? Was he correct? Did you not put a sign on the chair? No, there wasn't a sign on the chair. Logan. Well, but I, you could Logan. tell I was sitting in the group and I had set it all up and I'm sitting there. And now, did you? Te- he didn't even ask. He just took the chair. He just took the chair. And yes. Then, and then you murdered him. Well, now which murder is a tough? I don't agree with murder, yeah, uh, L- Logan. It's, it's I was it's defending murder. myself, Logan. It's murder. Uh, now let me ask you here: um, Are you a lawyer or a doctor? I, don't I, I do have degrees in lawyerology as well. I uh, PhD. It's not even a word. It it's is a word. If you've lawyerology been to book. Oxford, you would know that that is a word. Uh, now, Logan. <laughs> yes. Did you ever think about going over and asking him for the chair back instead of just brutally? No, him? they know what they're doing. I'm not going to go and ask him for the chair back. Well, he knows what he's doing. I have a suggestion for you. Have you ever thought about maybe not watching sports or going to? If these places set you off, these games, these places, these people. Why don't you just not go to these places why, anymore? Why do I have to change for them? Why do I have to deny myself enjoyment because they're going to be bleep holes in the sports in the sports bar? Change is what some would call what all people do, as your professor would say, is also mutation. <laughs> It's the key to our evolution, as some uh, some films tell us. I don't think you should use that word irresponsibly. Mutation? Yes. Or change? You're not a mutant. So I'm not allowed to... Wait, are you saying that I cannot... I can never say the you word mutation? You don't know what it, Mutant lives matter. And you don't know... I, I, yes, I agree with you, sir. In that I way. agree that mutant lives matter. That's right. That's right. You, well, how would you know? You're existing on 40 different planes... That's correct. ...at the same time. That's, so I, I how feel can you attach anyone, to anything? Well, I would say that I... With that uh, red cape of yours. Some people... Blue... Don't, don't, don't insult the cape there. There's blue little the pants. The cloak of levitation. <laughs> the cloak uh, of the what? The cloak of levitation. Yeah, uh-huh. But, uh, you know, as as I exist over the 40 planes, I would say that I perhaps could see the picture better than others. I can see what... what, what so you're saying you never get mad, Stephen? You never get upset? Of course not. When people are attacking the no, Earth? No. I don't brutally... I don't brutally murder civilians. No, you just... Get, in a bar. You get stuck in a time loop with a guy. That's Look, with a I'm, creature. You don't think that's torture? Over and over again? Dying, coming right back? Listen, uh... Mr. Logan, I'm yeah. going to suggest that for your own good and the safety of citizens in the world, yeah. that you just stop watching sports. That's my suggestion to That's you. That's ridiculous. So you can stop killing people. Well, again, why do I have to change for them? They should be respectful and courteous, just like I am. Keep to themselves. Leave me alone and let me watch my hockey. Uh, one last question for you, Mr. Bub. Logan. Bub, yeah. Okay. Uh, doctor. Uh, <sighs> Logan... How many in the last year, just, you know, ballpark it, how many of these incidents have happened? How many bars have you just brutally murdered everyone What's in the bar? Ballpark? Um, What's a ballpark? An estimate, oh. as you Americans oh, right. might say. I'm not an American. Whatever. Yeah, all right. You colonists <laughs> might say. Either one. What, what does it give me an estimated number? You know, nobody likes your goatee. I don't know if anybody told you that. Listen, it looks stupid um, on you. It's quite popular you're, you're, in the, um, you know, the, the Nanda Parba temple. What, what, what party is it popular in? I want to know what party what you part go to where it? it's okay They're, Don't to worry, that listen, goatee listen. and pop your oh collar Lord. like some preppy from the 80s. All right, what no. is wrong with you? Listen, listen, your little Logan. pirate boots, your leather pirate boots. I don't have pirate boots. What whatever, are you talking whatever about? Whatever it is you're wearing at the bottom, your, your bootsies that you wear, those sleep little... They're Doc Martens. <laughs> They're not Doc Martens. <laughs> those are absolutely not They're Doc totally Martens. stylish. All right. Uh, Wolverine, I can see that there is no solution for you. you 57 times. That's 57, 57 times. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but 57 times. That's that's more months than there are in the year, sir. Yes, I know. 
More weeks, you mean? Well, that too. Uh, uh, you know, it depends on how you count. You know, tomato, tomato. You're a doctor of say. time, are you? I am a doctor of time and space and relative dimensions. Um, yes. I also know that doctor as well. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you do. Logan, I am worried for society with you walking around out there 57 times. You need to learn to control your... Have you ever tried a Xanax? A what? A Xanax. No. Is that's I killed him, I think. No, no, that is not a is that ex a, bad ex. Oh, that's not a bad, bad X Men villain from the seventies. Right, it is, it is, is a that? pill. A pill. A pill. All right. No. No. No oh, man. Why would I try Xanax? What does it do to you? It calms you down, Logan. Mm. Mm. All right. I need my rage. Well, <laughs> and your murder <laughs> of fifty-seven bars. Murder is a matter of, of opinion. No, it is a matter of fact and law. Again, All laws. What law? Of the 47 dimensions, Logan. I, Logan, I have never had to do Wait, this before. There are 47 dimensions? The- You're an idiot. There's not 47 dimensions. There's only four. Logan. There's five at the most. There's only there's only four that you can perceive. Oh. Uh, Logan, don't I insult have- me, goatee boy. Listen. listen. Yeah, I've had just about enough out of you. Listen, I've had enough about it. You animal. What do you mean? Listen, I have never had to you do gotta this. You got to help me, doctor. <laughs> I am going to help you, and I'm going to help society as a whole. I've never had to do this as a guest. What are you doing? But by the D. Demons of Deshanty, Denmark. I am going to vaporize you into a hell dimension of your own making for this for the safety of the world. Wait a minute. Well, and now he's gone. Well, you're you're welcome, society. You're welcome. I didn't really like him at all. He was uh, so yes? so hard to understand with that Canadian accent. <laughs> what? Really? He was he was hard to understand. Yeah, we don't have Canadians in the dark dimension. Is there no dark? Canada. There's not. It's all light side over there. It's all light. In the light dimension, you got. It's all opposite, Stevie. Don't you know anything about mysticism? Aren't you the? Well, yes, but you don't. You don't live in the light dimension. You live in the dark dimension. No, but I get like postcards and stuff from the light dimension. Really? Great condos over there. Who do you get postcards from in the light dimension? Oh, from Light Clear, obviously. We all have opposites. From Light Clear. Yeah, she's blonde. But I'm. Earth 616 Stephen. Yeah. You're Dark Claire. Yeah. Is there a Dark Stephen? Oh, yeah. He lives down the road. Uh, why don't you give him a call sometime? Maybe I will. I think that's probably a good idea. All right. Um, it looks like... Oh, what is this? Uh, hold on. I got another note from the manager here. There's another call on line 28. Ooh, that's the same one as Frank Arini was on before. Wanting to speak to you, Claire. <gasps> uh, I'll go, I guess I will uh, go ahead and take another break then. And uh, by the mystic moons of Moonapore, I shall go have another Earl Grey. Uh, go ahead and take your call. Bye, Stevie. All right, we're going to click right on to line 28. Is this Frankie again? <sighs> I think it is. Karen. Karen, is it? Yes. Ooh, Stevie. Karen. No, Frankie. 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 Uh, my name is Clea. I'm not. I don't know who Karen well, is. Is she uh, your girlfriend? She's. Uh, she's a. She's a. She's a. She's a friend. She's a friend. Would you like her to be more than a friend? I mean, uh, uh, my war don't allow for that. Yeah. Oh. I just, uh, I'm like in a war zone. Doesn't allow for that. You're in a war zone. <sighs> I mean, I could maybe teleport and, and get you out of there. Uh, uh, sorry, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta do this. Game time. Game time. Okay, so we hope that Frankie wins whatever game he's gone off to play and that he calls back soon. Claire, by the chains of Chalandrist, you will not believe what has just been reported on the news. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Apparently, there has been a massacre at a Denny's. Ooh. Now, no one was hurt. No one was shot. But apparently, some man in a black trench coat with a skull on his vest. Ooh, that sounds stylish. Who was apparently talking to someone on a cell phone. Hmm. Just ran into this Denny's and demanded pancakes. Uh, were you, uh, are you the one who saved them? Did you stop that from happening? What? Oh, no, that's below my pay grade. Oh. Uh, I don't do that. Uh, I, but I, what I do do, Claire, is end this very fantastic and lovely show. Because yeah. 
us. Thank you so much to everyone who has been listening to the Doctor Strange show on WXXXK9721. And uh, we just want to thank today's sponsor. Today's sponsor of the Doctor Strange show is the Daily Bugle. Yay! The Daily Bugle, the finest newspaper in all of New York. Is the Daily Bugle exist in the dark dimension as well? It does, but it's called the Dark Bugle. The Dark Bugle. Very good. Um, the Daily Bugle. The newspaper that wants to remind you that Spider-Man is a terrible, terrible person and don't believe he, anything he says. Yes, uh, thank you so much to the Daily Bugle for being our sponsor. I, I, I want to echo that statement. I know the uh, Spiderman, and uh, he is quite a terrible person. Oh, you're dropping names, Stevie. You sound so important. Uh, I am. Uh, Steven, that's my name. Yeah, um, you know. Oh, good God. And uh, he... Yes, the Spider-Man is a terrible person. He does not smell well. I've heard that he's a menace. He smells like sweat. Oof. And gym socks and uh, queens. Ooh. Which is... Uh, that's a dark city. It it Queen. is a very dark city. You do <laughs> does that exist in the dark dimension as well? Absolutely. <laughs> There's dark queens. It's JFK in the dark dimension. J- JFK the my JFK the normal airport. JFK yeah Earth six one six JFK is the is dark dimension. It's dark. a portal to the dark dimension. You heard it here first, listeners. If you want to give her some quick transfer. I've never had to use my passport to leave JFK. That is quite interesting. That maybe that's why the Eye of Agamotto grants me passages into all places. Uh, Claire, did you have an amazing time here today? I always have a fantabulous time when I'm with my babe, Stevo. Uh, Stephen, thank you. Ah. Uh, did you have a great time? It was fine. I didn't have to talk to two callers. That's a good. That's a win for me. Oh, good. I'm that's so happy. That's a big win, Claire. Uh, so, Claire, one last thing mm-hmm. before we end every episode. As you know, we have to do a dark dimension check, a dark magic check. Ooh, okay. Right. I'm ready. You know, now, as a lot of listeners, our regular listeners know from the show, there are three questions that you must be asked to determine whether you are are in, in exhibited with the dark magic. Yeah. Now, if Claire was asked these questions, she would automatically answer them uh, yes, because she is in, in view with the dark magic. It's all true. If I answer these questions no, it means that I am free and clear. So, Claire... Uh, let's start with question one. As you know, this is a yes or no question. This is the beginning of the dark magic test. Let's see if I've made it through this episode dark magic free. All right, Claire, go ahead. Okay, so question number one. Mm-hmm. Steve Yeah, Steven. Are you currently craving Pizza Hut pizza? No. Of course not. <laughs> that is crazy talk. Why would I want a Pizza Hut pizza with the stuffed bread crust and deep dish pizzas there that are underneath? Oh man. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, avoid, I'm gonna avoid. I'm gonna avoid that. I'm gonna avoid that. All right. So I'm so far. I'm one for three. Mm-hmm. As we know, the second question is about movie tastes. Uh, Miss Claire, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for you. I'm focused in. I'm ready. All right, Steve Arini, are you excited for the next mega movie musical, La La Land 2, Ohio Land? By the wondrous winds of Watoom, uh, that is a solid no. I am not excited for that movie at all. And um, in fact, you know, I am I'm quite certain. I'm about to tell you this. Uh huh. I am a hundred percent certain that Ryan Gosling is a card carrying member of your dimension. Oh, he's one of our higher denizens for sure. Really, you can confirm that here on the air. I can. Ryan I can, Gosling, I will and I have straight up from the dark dimension. Uh, most of the cast of La La Land, straight but up from the dark dimension. Even the wondrous Emma Stone. Especially. Es- Wait, especially She's Emma Stone. She's my neighbor. You know this. We've seen her out watering her lawn. Oh, that is correct. I forgot about that time. I guess there was maybe a hope that there was really an Earth 616 Emma Stone and that she was the loveliest of flowers. Um, she was. Mm. Was. Was. We're learning a lot of dark details about you today, Claire. And uh, I have to say, um, your stock 
Going up in my book. Ooh. Going up. All right. Uh, I might consider for going the man cave the size of Ohio. I can still make that happen. All right. Well, okay. Let's go to the final question as we know of every student of magic and listener of the Doctor Strange show knows that the final question about the dark magic is about food. Mm-hmm. So, Miss Claire, lay it on me. Let's find out how much of the dark magic is in Stephen Strange. Okay. Stevie. All right. Darling. Yes. Sweetie. Stephen. Honey. Stephen. What did you make for dinner last night? Well, these are yes or no questions, so... Did you make... That's <laughs> excellent. I'm just so enraptured by the magnificence I mean, of your return it, mustache. It, it was a fitch, I can barely contain it was myself. It was fettuccine Alfredo, as you know. Oh! It was fettuccine Alfredo. Is, fed, is fettuccine that Alfredo? That is lucky, because our question was actually, did you make spaghetti bolognese last night? But wait a minute. Your question is about something in the Italian noodle family. It is. The dish I made is in the Italian noodle family. Well, adjacent answers aren't the same as complete answers, so I think you're still in the clear today. I mean, uh, I, I didn't want to tell you this, but my, my hand has been trembling most of this episode, <gasps> and the pinky is solid black, so I did... Did I... <laughs> Clay, I need you to confirm this. Did I... Did I make a dish of dark magic last night? I'll say this, Stevo. You cracked the door open. Oh no, listeners. Oh no, by the icy tendrils of crocodiles. I think Dark Strange Dark Strange. I said Dark Oh, ooh, oh no. I'm you're already slipping. Claire, it's happening. Doctor Strange is full of the dark magic. What do I do? I- There's nothing I can do. Besides, wish you well and say happy holidays. Uh, Claire, say goodbye to the wondrous folks. Bye. I have to go consult with Fin Fang Foom and the many wizards of Nanda Parlabat. As Dark Strange dies. I did it again. I called myself Dark Strange. Uh, it's all true. You're oh, coming no. to Ohio. Well, we'll see you tomorrow for another episode of the Doctor Strange Show. Until then, keep clear of the dark magic. Well, there you go. Episode one of the (laughs) Doctor Strange Strange Show. Show. (laughs) Um, Some listeners will call it our most successful episode of all time. Others will not. Okay, uh, let's thank the fine people who helped us make this happen. Uh, Ashley, why don't you go ahead and uh, and give some major shout outs to these people. I would like to give mad props to our amazing guests who helped bring these characters to life. Sam Basher for playing Barry Allen, Danny Fernandez for playing Diana Prince, Jason Inman for playing Frank Castle, mm-hmm. and John Roca for playing Logan, a.k.a. Wolverine. Yes, uh, they were awesome. We wanted to extend the family and have some different voices in here, and uh, I thought that was a, a fun time. And uh, we'll see uh, if if enough of you listeners out there like uh, this episode, uh, then we will definitely make it a regular holiday tradition. I don't know, Ashley. Let's uh, hear some over and unders. Um, what are the odds you think the Doctor Strange show will ever return? Well, I don't know how people make over or under odds or really what they mean. So I would say fifty fifty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty simple fact mixed there. bag uh, just straight straight up huh um, right. I think it was fun so I hope it returns yeah there you go alright so uh, have a happy holidays everybody uh, the next time you will hear from us will be our best of 2017 episode we will be taking next week off to uh, spend the time with our families mm-hmm. and to go home and uh, just to uh, you know do various other things like that so don't forget to subscribe to this podcast on iTunes and Spotify and SoundCloud and all those places. And Ashley, if they want to suggest a future lesson of Geek History Lesson, where can they do that? If you want to suggest a future lesson or proclaim your love for this lesson so we know to do it next year, you can do it on Twitter at GHL Podcast, at Facebook.com slash Geek History Lesson and Geek History Lesson.com. There are so many ways to contact us in all of those places. And don't forget to head on over to Patreon.com slash Jawin. There will not be an extra episode this week uh, because we put a lot of work into 
this episode. Oh. But go over there, support the podcast. There's plenty of old, the whole old Geek History Lesson Extra archive is up there. Mm-hmm. And, there's a, great and there's a private RSS feed that you can have. There's some great interviews. Uh, there's plenty. Of, you can catch up on some old stuff. That's what I would say. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jawin, J-A-W-I-I-N. And you can follow Ashley on Twitter at Ashley V. Robinson. And you can find the podcast on Twitter at GHL Podcast. Yep. I have been Jason Strange Inman. I have been Ashley Victoria Robinson. And Professor Jason, why don't you dismiss the class? Dark magic! Happy holidays. <laughs>